Who doesn't like a live sporting event? The atmosphere, getting drunk in public, yelling foul things, tossing dildos on the field, and of course, at least in baseball, the hope of catching a fly ball. And yes, I was that douche that brought his glove to baseball games. However, in football, if a ball goes into the stands, which is extremely rare, typically you see an usher or security guard come over and take the ball away from the fan. It's the same in basketball and in tennis, but not in hockey, where yes, you get to keep the puck and whatever stitches you'll need after. So why is it this way? Well, there are a variety of factors that go into what happens when a ball goes into the stands. So I will break this into some digestible categories that hopefully leave you satisfied with the answer. So let's start first with the NFL's official policy regarding balls that go into the stands. Well, there isn't one. In fact, it's left up to each individual stadium to design their policies around what they do when this happens. Furthermore from that, I looked all over many teams' websites for specific policies regarding this topic, and I could find absolutely none. However, if you have a basic understanding of the law and from what I did find, this is typically what happens. If a ball goes into the stands after a kick and for some reason the net malfunctioned and the net, by the way, was specifically designed to keep footballs from going into the stands and a fan catches the ball, it will be requested of the fan to return the ball to the usher. So the NFL has two pretty good arguments on why a multi-billion dollar enterprise would want an $80 football back. Number one, for fan safety, as before the nets were put up, many fans got involved in scrums and disturbances and people fought over the loose balls in the stands. I'm so trying not to make a joke right now. Okay, fine, I'll say it. I wish someone would fight over my loose balls. Anyways, that's number one. Number two is the fact that if a kicked ball goes into the stands, there is a limited number of K balls that are to the desired pressure of the kickers, etc. Taking one out of circulation, especially one the kicker really likes, can affect the outcome of the game. And we all know how much ball pressure affects the outcomes of the game, am I right? I mean, what's the deal with deflated balls? Typically, the fan will comply and the stadium can decide whether to give a fan a coupon or jersey, yeah right, or even a thank you for giving them their football back. Also, remember, since Tim Tebow retired, a football making its way into the stands is a very rare event. So now, what if you don't want to give the football back? Here's where you awesome guys get to learn about the law. In baseball, it used to be the policy just like in the NFL for you to give an usher the foul ball. That was the rule until 1921, a man by the name of Reuben Berman refused to give a baseball back one day after he caught a foul ball at the polo grounds in New York. Refusing to give up the ball, Berman was ejected from the stadium. But Berman won't know punk, and he sued the team citing that he was humiliated and distressed over the entire incident. Reuben didn't win that part of the case, but the New York Supreme Court said he could keep the foul ball. And from there, the Reuben rule was born, and fans could now keep foul balls, and Cubs fans could still happily throw them back if they wish. So how does the NFL get around this? Well, my broad assumption is that the Reuben rule is still in effect. However, if you refuse to return the ball, your conduct will be considered disruptive, and you will be ejected from the stadium. But they likely cannot take the ball from you. I found many anecdotal stories regarding this, and it makes sense. Keep the ball take a walk. Now again, each stadium policy is different. Like for example, no way in hell any usher is going to attempt to take the ball from one of those adorable kids Cam Newton gives a ball to after a TD. What's interesting about that is in the NFL disciplinary policy, it is a $6,000 fine for a player to throw a ball into the stands. I bet you're wondering if I'll make a joke here about which QB this cost the most. I already threw Tim Tebow under the bus. Let's see. Jay Cutler, Tony Romo, Geno Smith. It, it's Geno Smith. And yeah, he deserves a fine for a throw that bad. Dear God. Anyways, it was alleged that Cam Newton was going to be fined for giving his balls away. Hey, oh, but no, the NFL stated clearly that he would not be. A few more interesting facts. The NCAA has a similar policy to the NFL, but the Arena League actually encourages fans to keep the footballs that fly into the stands. And Gino Baby would fit right in. Well, there you have it. Yes, you can keep the ball, but you'll find yourself outside of the stadium. And of course, if you're in Buffalo, it's pretty hard to decide whether being on the inside is as fun as being on the out. I'm Five Points Vids, and you made it to the end of this video.